40 years ago, the concept of plastic pollution, ocean plastic pollution, was almost unheard of. Today, it is one of the most pressing issues that requires our immediate attention. If you value a healthy ocean, what does it look like? We continue to treat the oceans in a way which is uh, lacking in respect. And the oceans are now starting to show signs of really being in quite a large amount of trouble. Business as usual is no longer going to be possible. Something has to give. Is the Pacific Ocean in crisis? We've got to start demanding much more. The land and the ocean are interconnected. The private sector has been described as the 800-pound gorilla in the room, that when you get private sector finally engaged, then we're going to actually see commitment and see some real change. 70% of the protein for Pacific people is derived from the oceans. So it's truly quite shocking and even unimaginable to think that there might be a future, that in a few years' time, fish will no longer be a staple part of our diet. We are literally taking more than we can sustain. And all the more reason why government inaction has to turn into action. The only way we're going to do that is by creating economic returns that is based on conservation. Because everything that's created elsewhere is now the Pacific's problem. Climate change is now our problem. I think that this should be about the production. Who is producing it? And today it's the conscientious consumer who is going to make the difference. The Pacific Ocean and the health of the Pacific Ocean is critically vital, not just for ourselves and our futures, but for the entire planet. It's proven over and over again around the world that a well-managed, large enough marine protected area works. We have this body of water, this ocean, that can save humanity, but only if we have the political will. Our stories in our part of the world is, is magical and it's worth saving. We still have some time.